what's really interesting is, and, and by the way, you can ask yourself if, if you're this person. I know that there, uh, if you're a troll who's online and you're like going on there because you're just like pissing people off. Oh, like, people get so pissed off. What is it about you that you just like pissing people off? That like your day is made better when other people's days are made worse. What does that say about you? I'm just bored. And so that's how you, there's a whole universe out there, literally. And this is the way that you find to entertain yourself by making people's days worse. Well, because, and then we start to roll our eyes, we start thinking about how we can justify it because the truth about what it says about us is very different. Well, everybody does online. Oh, so now you're part of that group. No longer individual responsibility for what you do. Well, it's just funny. Yeah, well, why is that funny to you? It's worth considering. And by the way, pay attention to what you're paying attention to. When stuff is funny to you, why is it funny to you? And I don't mean like, why is that funny? No, I mean it, seriously, think about it. Why is that funny to me? Because that tell what, what you're willing to laugh at tells you a lot about yourself. Um, are racial slurs funny? Yeah. Hell yeah. That's why we tell them. That's, I mean, just like racial jokes. How, do, how, do, how does every racist joke begin? <laughs> if you understand, you understand. Why do we make fun of moms? Because mm. most of our dads aren't around. <laughs> Tell me like, you know, he's telling me like, oh, yeah, I was with your mom last night. You're gonna piss me off. I'm like, you, you dug her up? <laughs> I was with your dad. You found him? Where was he? <laughs> you really can't get people by, by making fun of their dads. Um, good, he deserves it. He wasn't around. Um, we don't like to sugarcoat things. Well, maybe that's the way that we are in real life. But these are the things that we, maybe that we are, that we're afraid of expressing in, in real life. Because as we're gonna see more during the second semester, you've got these two parts of yourself. You've got this part of yourself that maybe is more in real life because it's, it's a mask that you show people. It's called your persona. This is the face that you show the world. This is, you know, oh, I'm, I'm a kind, honest, generous person. Oh, uh, you give money to a homeless person, you have, to, you have to say something about it on social media. That way everyone knows that you're a, I'm a good person, right? Good person. When I, I drive past houses and I see things like, in, you know, they have these signs out there, in this house, Science matters. All lives matter. Love is love. Like they have a sign out there for that. It's like, ooh. I drive past and I go, that must be a good person who lives there. I want to go up there and ring their doorbell and they answer, turn around. I want to pat them on the back. You are a good person because you put out a sign. I see cars with those but with those stickers on them. And it's like, wow, you must be a, a good person. Those kinds of people worry me. Because if I have to, if I have to tell you that you're that uh, if I have to tell you I'm a good person, maybe it's because you didn't notice. And why wouldn't you have noticed? Because I'm not a good person. Yeah, but if I tell you enough times, maybe I can convince you. It's like people who want to come along and say how smart they are. Well, I'm glad you tell me that you're smart. I wouldn't have noticed otherwise. I'm glad you tell me you're a good person. I wouldn't have noticed otherwise. But this is the, the public face that we show. But then there's this other aspect of us, which is our shadow. These are the things that we, we don't show the world. And by the way, it doesn't have to just be the negative things. This can also be like your insecurities, your, de your, your, your depressions, your anxieties, anything that you don't want to show the world, it could be that. And by the way, if you're a kind person living in an unkind place, that can also be in your shadow. It's the person that you're, that you're hiding away from the world. And a lot of your anxieties and depressions and mental health crises come from this kind of interplay between the shadow and the persona. Because there's the real you, and you're having to hide half two-thirds of what you actually are. It's like those, I'm sure you've seen those pictures like the iceberg, where just a small fraction of the iceberg is above the water, everything else is down below. That's mostly who you are. And how much, and, and how kind of healthy you are mentally is gonna have a lot to do with how much of your iceberg is above the water and how much is below. Because if you're, if you're living a life that kind of like, like this, and most of you is actually hidden way down below the water, then that means the world's never going to know you. So what happens if you fall in love with somebody and that person loves you for who you are? Do they love you for who you are? No, they love you for that very small part that they can see above the water. And now, so the hope is for, for many people is that we can reveal our real selves to people and then they're gonna, they're gonna love more of who we really are. Because intuitively we know, you don't love me for who I really am. You love me for, for who I'm showing you that I am. And this is why, little by little, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll let some of our jokes go, or 
we'll let some of our real views express themselves or we'll tell a person how we really feel about things. And of course, the healthiest people in the world mentally are gonna be the people who were able to, to integrate the, the, the persona and the, and the shadow and just kind of say, here's who I am and tell the jokes you want to tell. Like people say, you can't say that. Why not? I just did. You can't, oh, but you're not supposed to. According to who? A whole world that's, that's, that's living through 100% persona? It's like, just now I asked you, are racial slurs funny? And like one person said yes. Everybody else was just sitting there like, you didn't say no either. You just stood there, you sat there and stared because, I mean, we're in a group. I don't have to answer individually because then that's my individual responsibility. And what if I do say yes? What if the group is gonna look at me and cancel me and clutch their pearls and say, you shouldn't say those things. Like, why not? Well, because it's offensive. It's offensive that you think you're the language police and that you know better than everybody else, that you know better than I do. Well, okay, well, I guess go on Twitter and tell the world how terrible I am. You're not the first person, for sure. But, of course, where would you do that? Through that, through that persona, why? Because the more attention you can call to me, the less scrutiny is gonna be on you. It's like I say, I, I apologize, I know that I, I cuss a bunch in class, but if you wanna complain, I'll listen to you, but I wanna see your playlists before you do. The more that you can integrate your persona and your shadow, the more of the actual real you that gets to enter the world. That means that people get to either love you or hate you for who you really are. There's nothing, you know, maybe the only thing worse than being hated for who you're not is being loved for who you're not. Others. All right. Happy Thursday. Not so bad.